Police in Brookhaven feeling a bit uneasy after a hail of gunfire overnight. The police there say a home invasion led to a chase ending in an officer involved shooting. Atlanta News First Yasmina Alston is live at five on Caldwell Road near the home where all this started. So Yasmina neighbors say nothing like this has ever happened. Yeah, they say nothing like this has happened before. One neighbor even telling us that she hid in her bathroom last night when she heard those gunshots in Brookhaven. Police say now they're still searching for the fourth suspect involved. It's a great neighborhood. It's very peaceful. There are a lot of kids. That's why home invasion late Thursday shocked those living in this Brookhaven community. Last night was surprising. Yeah, it's the first time that anything like that has happened around here. For the whole time that I've been here, I think all of the neighbors are kind of like, it like jolted them. Like everybody was really surprised that something like that would happen. But I think it's just probably like a one off thing, random, unfortunate thing that happened. Police say four armed men broke into this house. The homeowner saw what was happening on her surveillance video and called a friend to the home, where a shootout then took place between that friend and the gunman. Just next door, Orly Fisher and her family heard the commotion. We heard like probably 15 to 20 gunshots. Um, we actually hid in our bathroom <laughs> when it happened because we just didn't know what was going on. According to police, the armed men sped off in a car when officers arrived and a chase began. That ended with a crash in Shambly. Officials say one of the suspects, 19-year-old Albert Burns, exited the car with a gun and was shot by an officer. That suspect is in the hospital. The two other men pictured here are in custody. I know there's several weapons on scene. Several of them are laying on the ground right now, but I don't know all the details of all of them. Fisher says she doesn't know her neighbors well, but wants them to know they have support after a scary night. We're bringing them some cookies. Yeah, we feel bad. Um, we think that they have like two little kiddos in there, and I just think they must be so afraid. So we just wanted to let them know that like the neighborhood has their back and we're behind them. And we did ask people coming out of the home if they had any comments about what happened. They said they did not. Meanwhile, Brookhaven police will investigate the home invasion and the GBI is investigating the officer involved shooting. Live in Brookhaven, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First.